next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, ground and pound is a true art form. I and mean, whether you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch them take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punches. He finds position, he finds posture, he brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands these big right hands that makes his opponents fold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be submission or continuing to ground and pound his opponents into the bottom of the octagon. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. Or tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. We set it inside Ladies the and gentlemen, Here's Bruce this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 21 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Wilmington, North Carolina, Derek Bronson. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. on this roster to a man, to a woman. They want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. From international fight league to championship fights all across the board, you come to T-Mobile. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow it? Oh! Snooze her. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Yeah, he's mixing. 
messing it all up. Oh! Look at the turtle in that kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and going in there. Job keeping that head off the center line slips to avoid the right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, huge kick to the body. That can't feel good. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. He can't even, he can barely stand. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches, oh! Oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a What a fight so far. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely going to need to get stitched up after the fact. And blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. An uppercut later. Good combination of jabs for him. Oh! This fighter here tonight, a massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 39 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kevin the Trailblazer. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. <laughs>